Hi, third intro in a row. So yes, I'm still in the same things. But basically, uh, it's just easier to do it this way, as I've mentioned before, because otherwise I have to move the camera to go top down and I don't have two facilities. So I get it all out of the way like this and then we go top down with the videos. Can't promise what order they're going to come out in, but I know I'm definitely doing my crochet bee cream egg cover today. That is the first one I'm going to get out of the way. But these are Littlest Pet Shop Blides. Now, I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I didn't even know they existed for a long time, but I have a few of them. Um, and I was having a look. I mean, I have some AliExpress uh, Blythe Petite Petite Blides as well. And I did used to have a Petite Blythe and Silly Me sold it quite a while ago for absolutely nothing. And now when I've gone back to try and find out how much they are, the prices have gone through the roof. So that is why I got some AliExpress ones. Although I'm so impressed with the little AliExpress ones. They are so cute. And I will show you some of them as well. But I decided to look for the Littlest Pet Shop while I was at it. Now she's still in the packet, so you're not going to be able to see her properly. But I have this little girl here. And I just thought she she was gorgeous. I just had to have her. So instead of obviously, I suppose I could save instead of buying other bits in between, but you know what it's like. So I bought this little girl. And um, what I wanted to do was I brought all my others in. So I have, <laughs> I have arms full of them here. Uh, there's also a little doll which is not obviously a Littlest Pet Shop or Blythe, but I just wanted to do a comparison in size. I've got a little array here of bits and bobs. So we're going to look at the size. We're going to look at the new girl that I've got. Um, and then we're going to sort of have a look at what the others do look like in comparison. To be honest, I think the quality, just on a quick look, they're wonderful. They are really wonderful. But as I said, I haven't got my uh, Petite Blythe to actually compare with anymore, which I'm a little bit sad about. Another thing I got, which is doll related, but not a doll, but I couldn't resist it. When I was looking for the Petite Blythes, I found this. Look at that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I just think it's really, really, really cute. It is a little pet shop one, um, and it is an iron-on patch. Hmm. I've not really got anything to iron it on. I will probably find something, and I want to save it because I just thought it was absolutely adorable. So that was just a little something sorted to do with the dolls, but not a doll. So I'm going to show you all top down what I've got with these girls, and we're going to have a good rummage, compare the sizes, compare the quality, arm movements, leg movements, all that sort of thing. And just have a little bit of fun, and I hope you're going to join me for that. So I will see you in a moment, top down. Well, here I am with my pile of little tiny weeny blithes. Now, these are just an adorable size. They are so cute. And as I said, I didn't even realise the Littlest Pet Shop one existed till a few years ago when I got very kindly sent my first one. Here she is. Uh, and this was sent from a Facebook friend. This is from Natalie and I absolutely love her and she set me off on them. So I ended up with a few as you can see. So we'll just quickly run through who I have. So I have this one here. I have this little one. These are in their original clothes and that's just a little crochet hat that I made for her. I have one here and she does have a hat. Now this was one I bought in a box. I think this one was a boxed one can't even remember now. I think it's I see things and I think, ah, oh, I need them. So I end up buying them and then I take them out of the boxes and forget completely what I've done. And this little girl here, she did definitely come in a box. She came with a little ice skates and a full collection. She has a little hat here. So they do need to find a place in my room. That's the only thing because I think they do deserve their own little place. Just look at these are the little AliExpress girl. I have a couple of those now as well, and they are adorable. And this little girl I've just brought out. Now, I absolutely love Dahl from the Pullet range. And she is a petite Dahl. So you can see she's roughly the sort of same size. Let me pull them down a little bit on the camera so you can see better. So those are the girls that I already had. These are their little stands. As you can see, I mean, this is a Blythe stand. And let me have a look. Yeah, these are both the littlest pet shop. Oh, no, that says Blythe TM. I'm not sure. And that says Blythe LS, LPS, obviously Littlest Pet Shop. So I'm not sure. I'm sure they are both the same ones. So they are quite nice stands, even though uh, Little Darl there has been using them. Now, I mentioned the little patch. Just look at that. How cute is that? Um, I must find somewhere to put it because I just thought it was just so nice. It's one I found, I said, looking on these on eBay and I saw this. So 
you know what it's like there's just a little iron on patch there so i will find something for that what i have not got a clue so what made me decide on doing this video so i'll just move them up is because i bought this little girl because i decided to try and have a look at the petite blinds again see what the prices and costumes were like and i decided I wasn't going to be paying that at the moment because to be honest the AliExpress from what I remember when I did have my Petite Blythe these the quality of these there's really not much difference and I don't think it warrants the price I know people will argue obviously well the other one's an original you know you're paying for the brand name yes you are and I get that very much so um but I didn't want her that much so then I started looking at the Littlest Pet Shop ones and then this one appeared. So we're going to have to move you girls up there so everybody can have a look at this very, very pretty girl. As I said, I've not really done much with her at all. She's still in the packaging and I've had her for absolutely months. Oh, I'm so behind on everything. So let's pull her out. I did have a quick look at her, but that's as far as it has gone. And just look at that little face. At first, I thought perhaps it was one that somebody had custom. So I decided to go out and do a little bit of research and I found out it wasn't. This is what she comes like. And how cute is that? She's got this little bow on the top. She's got this lovely, lovely purple hair, which definitely needs a good brush or a good something. Um, it's tied in a little elastic, which you can feel the elastic sort of perishing. So I think I need to get the elastic out, give the hair a good wash and a good brush. Because it is quite soft, but it's just matted like it gets you know obviously whether it's been carried around by a child or played with, with by a child i i know if it's anything like my hair i don't actually have to do anything i can be sat down and then i can get up and it's tangled i don't know what happens there so i think the dolls me and the dolls are a kindred spirit in that respect but definitely the face is what caught me here i mean she's got little stars in those eyes and then this sort of really cute sort of eye makeup round she has a little dress on here and look at those shoes. How could you resist those shoes? I think they are so cute. These little heeled, quite witchy looking shoes, which I think in some respects, I know there's, oh, there's little stars on her legs, I suppose could hint towards that. Um, I can't actually remember what she was called. That's the only thing now. I should have double checked that before. Now she's got a bit of writing on her back. I'm just pulling her away so I can actually see it and I still can't see it. Uh, 2010 Hasbro, yeah, it doesn't really say much more than that. Their little bodies, they, they're they very, very similar. It's actually a Presto fastening. I mean, there's just a number on the back there. Their little legs are painted, but at least we do get proper little shoes. And these little shoes do come off, um, so be careful not to lose them. But I was wondering whether they'd fit some of the tinier dolls that I've got as well. Although these feet are very, very tiny. So we're going to use her as the comparison. Oh, and look, she's got this gorgeous overdress. In fact, we're not going to use her as a comparison because I'm going to put this dress on. And then, I'm not sure whether this, I think this is the dress she would have come with. This looks a little bit more sort of magical or... I don't know, I can't think what you would call it, but it's definitely more glamorous. So let's get that on. It's a little elastic on the arms there. And we can Velcro her up at the back. And look, uh, I definitely, I shouldn't say this, but <clears throat> I think she might be my favourite. But I really do love her. everything about her. Like I say, the makeup, the clothing, the shoes. And excuse me, I'm going to cough. I just paused it for half a second while I had a cough and I'm back now. Um, I think I've got a bit of hay fever kicking in because I know my eyes are watering a little bit as well. And I know my sons have started and, you know, my grandchildren are sniffling a bit. So I think it is hay fever, not cold or anything like that. I hope it's not cold. So anyway, as I was saying, perhaps I shouldn't say it. Shh, whisper. But yeah, she is a little bit of a favourite out of the lot of them. But they are just all so cute. So let's get a little bit of a comparison. So we're going to pinch one of these. Which one shall we go with? We'll go with the first one that I got. I mean, just look at these little boats. I mean, these are actual proper. They will come off. Little boats. I mean, look at them. They're, they're gorgeous. And like I say, and this was just the littlest pet shop range um, that clearly Hasbro, from what I've just read, did. And again, we have nothing 
apart from Hasbro, it does say Hasbro, I don't know, I'm just checking, I'm not reading it right. Um, I know the other day I pointed to um, a pie for my daughter and I went, oh, that's unusual, it's spinach and apple. It wasn't spinach and apple at all, it was spiced apple. So don't always trust what I read because sometimes I'm like, what? I don't know why I do it, I've no idea. So I'm just going to take her dress off because I just want to do a little body comparison. So we don't need to take her boots off. I can see she's got these tiny little feet and they always have a little bit of underwear on and they, like I say I just love the boots on this particular one but it's similar to this one this one's got little trainers on and you can see their feet here but little trainers on uh, we have little ice skates and just look at those little ice skates are they not so cute and um, we need a AliExpress fly this is just a little crochet dress that I made for mine so we can have a look We're looking very similar aren't we guys and then I'm going to just, this one's got a bit of a pain of an outfit to take off because there's a few layers on her. But we just have a look at the body again. Now this is a, uh, from the Pullet range, so this is sort of, I can't say proper, it's really difficult to say nowadays. And uh, people refer to fakies and all this sort of thing and it's just getting very confusing. But we can see roughly their body sizes are almost identical. Now, as I say, this is the AliExpress, remember, and this is the Hasbro. Head size, obviously this has a pull-up style, well, it's the Dal, D-A-L, uh, doll of a mini. So, obviously, the facial features are going to be very different because it's not the classic blithe sort of look. So, obviously, she's going to be very different. And she doesn't do anything, her eyes are just fixed like that. So, that is quite cute. I just love her because I, I love the big version of her. That's why I ended up getting her. She has a little bit of movement in her head because it's like a little ball and socket movement there. And again, we're very straight leg, little twist on the waist, but not really a huge amount of articulation, which is the same with these, to be honest. But the size of them, you can't really expect much. If you had the articulation, they would break. I think it's as simple as that. So here we are with my AliExpress. But as you see, we do have some eye movement. The eyes open and close. They're a bit of a pain when you're trying to uh, photograph them because obviously you're turning your light down and there I can't speak. Every time you lie them down, their eyes shut. And then if you're trying to angle them sat up, take a picture, you've got to get them at the right angle, otherwise their eyes shut. That's the only thing that winds me up about them. But the bodies, they're almost identical, aren't they? Almost identical. Obviously, this has just got painted socks on instead. Oh, I didn't realise she got a little flower on the bottom there. But apart from that, there is not a huge amount between them. The hands, again, let's pop these hands side by side. So it makes you wonder whether they're from the same mould, actually. The hands, identical. This one does have finger marks in it. It's just that they think this one's got slightly darker skin. You can actually see them, but you can. They are on that one as well. Um, so, yeah, we don't have a waist twist with these. The head is, again, on a ball. You can see it's on a ball. Let's have a look. Ah, no head movement on this one. That could be the difference. And also, this head is a plasticky, and this one's a rubbery but these were 100% made as children's toys and that is probably why and obviously we don't get any movement in the eyes there whereas I think as much as these are toys I think they're becoming more of a collectible thing rather than a toy so I don't think sort of people are buying them for that but yes her head is completely fixed if only it was tips just fractionally further back it would be so great um again just for photographic reasons as the one yeah the one issue i do have with them but otherwise just how cute are they just see if i can get a right open your eyes so we can have a compare mrs i'm gonna have to hope this is very it looks a bit barbaric i'm holding her eyes up with her eyelashes they're, they're similarish i think this one has larger eyes but because they're fixed that's easier to do isn't it generally so it was just a quick look i have a uh, a little thing coming up with one of these for an outfit very soon. So I'm excited about doing that as a collab with a few of others. And no details to be told yet, but it won't be long uh, before you get to see that. So this was, as I said, just an idea. Let's pop your little dress over you like that. 
we'll pinch that dress for you actually that dress looks quite cute on her doesn't it i might swap dresses for you there i think i've had her long enough that she deserves a little dress change the other girls are going to be jealous now i do need to make some things for this size doll and as i say i've got a few now so i need a shelf oh dear i'm going to be in bother saying i need another shelf um, I've got shelves all over the place. My walls are going to come in soon. I'm sure they are because there's just shelves and shelves and shelves. It is amazing. I love it. But I'm not putting them up. Our walls are a nightmare to put shelves on. So it's not a great job. But I think they deserve their own little category now because I've started to try and categorize things out. So I've separated Barbie from Cindy. My monster high of their own section. I am promised to do a room tour at some point. Um, but I never seem to get to the end of where I want so I always keep saying I'll wait until I've done that I'll wait until I've done that and it, it never happens but I must do it my smart dolls have a shelf now um, my Blythe's and my like, AliExpress Blythe's have got their own shelves so yeah it's all getting organised I'm really pleased about it so basically it was to show you this new little girl who I love really really love even two different colour purples in her hair she's just so gorgeous um, and then I wanted to sort of show you that I do actually have some other Littlest Pet Shop ones and they are lovely. They are definitely worth one to get. Although I have noticed, like with all the dolls at the moment, the prices are starting to just slightly sort of uh, whip up there on eBay. So be careful um, where you're buying them. There's lots of different ways you can do it. Some of mine I did actually get from a toy fair. And as I say, I did have one. My first one sort of sent to me as from one of for my Facebook friends and that's what set me off really but I'm not going to look on eBay for these because I've got so many other dolls in my head that I want have you seen the new Shadow High from the Rainbow High range I really don't want to look but it's going to take ages for us to get it over here that's the only problem but anyway we're not talking Shadow Highs we're talking Petite and Tiny Littlest Pet Shop Blythe and of course my little doll just thrown in there at the end so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed that hope you get some ideas of what you might like to get yourself um please pop me a comment please pop me a like obviously subscribe and share if you do enjoy my channels and i'll see you all very soon with either crochet or dolly related items so i'll see you soon bye bye for now